What's going on, Seaport? It's Pac-Man Jones with Savannah Seaport News. Now, there was a lot of talk on social media about a death that happened on the 18th on West 50th and Edwin Street. Now, a lot of people were talking about a guy that was found hung to death on the 18th in that area on West 50th and Edwin Street. And what people were talking about online is that why aren't the news and the police talking about it? Well, for one, let me explain the news won't really cover hum, uh, won't cover suicides at all unless if you committed suicide off of the Thomas Bridge or if you unless if you did something like in a federal office or in like a, a building and you kill yourself with a gun or something like that then yeah they'll cover it because you was in like an area but if you was in like a a private or not even private but in a secluded area where nobody's around you know the police will investigate it, of course, but they won't really, really usually put out a statement. But however, a lot of people were talking about and speculating about it, uh, about the person that was found deceased. Now, this person was actually found hanging. Now, actually, Roy Mentor, the uh, chief of police, actually released a statement in this case. Now, he re released the statement January the 19th, a day after the person was found dead. Now, I'll read this statement to y'all as you can see right now now Savannah police statement on January 18th death investigation an investigation into the death of 27 year old man on January the 18th indicates suicide as the cause of death at approximately 8 45 a.m. officers responded to West 50th and Edwin streets at the report of a black male hanging from a bridge upon arrival officers located a male in the manner reported he was pronounced deceased at the scene Homicide unit detectives quickly began an investigation into the male's death, including extensive interviews with the deceased's immediate family members. At this time, due to information provided to detectives by family members and evidence gathered, detectives have no indication that foul play is involved and, and preliminary ruled this incident as a suicide. An autopsy is being scheduled to determine the official cause of death. The male's name is not being released at this time due to the nature of the incident. They are aware of social media posts that may involve conflicting information regarding this incident and the matter of death. However, as stated, the Savannah Police Department is confident that all information thus far indicates this involves a tragic suicide and is not a result of any foul play. We are continuing to communicate with the family to offer various means of support and referral services. Now, hold up. If I'm not mistaken, a police... Uh, department is out there hold up y'all <laughs> i'm gonna be back i'll be back hold up so right now i'm about to pull up on edwin street and 50th street i'm just turning on 50 oh, on edwin street right now and if i'm able to i'll show y'all the area in which the person died at i'm on west 51st West 50th. Okay, now this is the police department training center. Okay, this is the intersection where they say the person was killed. See that bridge right there ahead of y'all? I'm gonna hop out and show y'all what's what, but this is where apparently the guy committed suicide so this part get out sorry for the shaky footage but as you can see you know, this is where the person I mean there's clearly no space where you can hang yourself right there and yeah I guess it's where don't know his name as of yet, but this is where Buddy had killed himself at. And unfortunately, yeah, that's what it is. <sighs> All right, well, uh, you know, attitude kind of changed seeing that bridge and the fact that somebody could have possibly killed himself. You know, I know what a lot of people thinking. A black male found hanging from a bridge you know they automatically rule it as somebody 
racist was trying to hang a black person now if that was the case you'll usually see like a a statement written on the body or something like that but however i don't know i don't i don't feel like nobody else did this and of course they interviewed the family members and the family members know if this person was in any beef or anything like that so i mean it it seems like a, a suicide and i guess he chose that area because the savannah police department area precinct is like right there so i guess he wanted to be found relatively quickly so i just want to say rest in peace to the young brother man i mean that's terrible you know somebody i mean you you kill your own self and i know a lot of people just going through the same thing you know covid has messed up a lot of people financially but you can always get help you know if you need help with you know thinking about committing suicide i put the link to the suicide hotline and and all the other links that you need to be educated about that but um that's it man take care of yourself stay blessed